Fish, fish, fish on, baby. Don't know yet. Come on, man. It hasn't jumped. Oh, it's right there. What? Is that what I think it is? Palometta on a pilcher. They have this big, long dorsal fin, big, long anal fin, uh, which separates them out from the pompano. There is no size limit on these guys. They taste wonderful. Uh, usually these guys eat shellfish, and you can catch them on sand fleas and whatnot, but I just caught one on a pilchard, which is totally out of the norm. Uh, Del Busa, what do you think? Palometta? Uh, yummy. Hi folks, this is David Fine, and this is a Catch and Cook episode we had this incredible palometta sleigh on the beach the other day, and it's not a fish that a lot of people catch normally. We usually catch one or two, and it's a small fish. I hear they're good to eat, but we typically don't keep them when we catch them just because of how small they are. But this time we caught a whole bunch of them. We caught nine palometta during the silver side run. So totally, like, was not expecting that. We were fishing for a snook and tarp, and we wind up with a cooler full of palmetto. So we are gonna cook them up for you today. Uh, my beautiful wife is my videographer. Mwah. Love you, babe. Uh, she's also set me up with a whole bunch of spices because we are going to season our fish and do three different marinades. And she's instructed me, and she's gonna instruct me from behind the camera. Guys, check it out as we do a palmetto feast. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Let's eat. Palmetta. Palmetta. All right, so this is actually in the same family. It is in the Pompano family. They eat crustaceans just like a Pompano. But one of the big differences are the Pompanos don't have these real elongated fins here on the dorsal and in the caudal fin, on the anal fin. And also, Pompano don't have these really cool stripes like the Palmetta does. Uh, the Pompano needs to be 11 inches from the nose to the fork of the tail. Uh, these guys, there is no size limit and no bag limit, so and there's no season. So, palmetta are game. Um, but I'll, if they're any smaller than this, this guy is about probably about 11 inches to the fork of the tail. Um, if they're any smaller than this, the fillets really there's not a whole lot of meat on them, so they're probably not a whole lot worth it unless you get a whole bunch of them. So, um, right here on the bottom of a permit pompano or palmetta. There are these two little spines, and if you see, these spines actually are quite sharp, and they will stick you good, dude. Pretty good. They also have them on the dorsal. See, right up here, they have these dorsal spines right in front of the dorsal fin. So as you're handling these things, you gotta be careful. And these things actually retract, so they go kind of tuck in, and they kind of you can go this way and not get stuck, but if you go this way, you're getting stuck. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you go this way, you don't get stuck, but you come back and you're gonna get stuck by these spines. So just be careful when you're handling uh, pompano, palmetta, or uh, permit. All right, that was awesome, guys. 
I've never done that. I've been fishing, beach fishing for 25 years, and I've never just thrown the line in one after another catching palmetto. So that was super cool. Now it's time to eat them. We filleted them already. And guys, I want, I want you to come on in here, babe. I want to show you these fillets real quick. One of the things that I noticed when filleting this fish is they actually had a very big bloodline. And so what happened was, as I was taking the uh, bloodline out, some of the fillets I actually had to, they actually came apart. So um, beautiful white meat. I'm really super excited to eat this fish, but they are small pieces, guys. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting as we cook them, a little different, but it's gonna be some nice white meat, but we're gonna get started. So babe, why don't you tell me what is our first step? So what's gonna be our first um, our first marinade? Talk to me. Sure, we're going to use three different kinds. The first one we've done in the past and you really liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna do soy sauce and honey. <laughs> And then the other one, dad invited us over, mom and dad invited us over the other day. He used teriyaki and um, ginger, and honey. And ginger, ginger honey, ginger, ginger honey. And uh, it was really delicious. So we're trying to imitate that without the ginger root honey. Um, and then we've got like kind of a blackened sort of thing. Yes, one. so. Paprika um, and all that, all that stuff is gonna yes. be one road. So with blackened, what makes it good is that uh, whatever ingredients you're going to put uh, doesn't really have to be certain kind. Paprika, I think, is one that is uh, mainly used in any type of blackened because of its flavor, which is delicious. So if you're gonna blacken, make sure that you have paprika yeah, and the have rest. Paprika. Yes, and the rest, whatever you have in your cabinet will work. All right. So we're gonna get started. First, yes. number one is the honey and soy sauce, correct? Yes. All right. So which? What? what talk to me. What am I doing here? So just go ahead and put honey in that little bowl. Honey in the little bowl. Mm -hmm. How much am I putting here, babe? Let's see. Like a tablespoon. We're not doing too much of this one since yes. we don't have much fish. Not, not a lot of a fish. A little more. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna put some honey in the other one too, right? Mm -hmm. So should I put this now or? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna put in the honey for both of our marinades. Just a little bit more. Okay. All right, so now we've got our soy sauce. This one I use, guys, because I'm gluten-free. Um, tamari is really organic, it's really good. It'll reduce sodium, so in this house, we try to do as best as we can to do the healthier way. So this is a substitute. Alright, how much that, am I putting in that, here? That's good. That's good? Yes. And now I just mix it up. Well, let's do the teriyaki. Yeah. With this one, guys, I usually make my own teriyaki. This is a, we never use bottle teriyaki because of the preservatives, but um, Dad used it and we really liked it. Uh, yeah. But usually if you make teriyaki, that's it, puppy, good. teriyaki chicken or so, there's awesome recipes to make your teriyaki from scratch. Try not to use bottle stuff with sauces like this. My it's wife's a... awesome. She just makes her own recipes, her own ingredients. <laughs> All right, babe. So now we're going to make our black and paprika rub, correct? Yes. So I, I just, tell me what I'm going to do here. What so you're going to grab each of those ingredients and put the same amount on that bowl just to make same a amount. good size. Okay. Um, so we're just gonna make this rub. I'm gonna dip some paprika in here. Yes. Okay. They're small fillets, we don't need a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So we've got some garlic. Just remember to use the same amount okay. for all of them. Granulated garlic, onion. That one came out faster. <laughs> Thyme. This one does not come out faster. Salt. Did you do rosemary? Yep, not yet. Salt. Rosemary. And then some fresh pepper. There we goes. Fresh pepper, guys. So we're doing fresh pepper. That's about good. So then, what we're gonna do now is we are going to take, oh, first we're gonna get our hands a little dirty. And I don't mean dirt. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, folks, so for the sake of time, we've already marinated a few of each, but we just wanted to show you how we're gonna do this uh, with a couple of each of these. So we've got first our blackened rub with our paprika and onion and garlic and all that. And we're just gonna literally just rub it all down, add it to our little pile right here. One more there, rub it down. And that is gonna be a little spicy. Lorenzo likes it like that, I guess. Okay, now for our teriyaki, I'm sorry, this is our soy sauce honey rub. So literally guys, what we're doing is we're just dipping it in here, lathering it all up. Look at that, isn't that pretty looking? Honey and soy sauce. So we're gonna add it to this little group right over here. We'll go one more with the honey and the soy. We'll add them in there. I'm so excited about that. That's mm -hmm. kind of what I'm excited about right there. And finally, last but not least, our teriyaki honey mix. We're going to get these in here, add them to their little home with all the other ones. And guys, now, our fillets are ready for the pan. So, who's ready to start cooking? Hey. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's start cooking. <laughs> Got my pan. Turn it on to medium. We're gonna get our olive oil, just a little bit of olive oil, so that we don't stick. All right, babe? That's good enough. Good enough? You don't need to use too much. Nope. Okay. Gonna let our pan warm up. And then what we'll start with our, we're gonna start with our soy honey mix. So isn't that nice? They're just kind of chilling in that soy honey mm -hmm. mixture right there. So I'm kind of excited about that. All right guys, while we're waiting for our pan to warm up, uh, we're gonna have a nice carambola star fruit garnish. And literally, I'm just, I'm just gonna chop the little stars and we'll have a little plate of this nice, sweet fruit garnish. We've got some jasmine rice that my wife made yesterday uh, for another meal that we're gonna use as complimentary uh, carbohydrate. But isn't that cool, guys? Look at that. I feel like such a, like a little... Very small, pretty. Very pretty. No, artistic. Very artistic. But I actually love star fruit, guys, the sweet ones. I mean, they can be a little bitter sometimes. Just gotta make sure you get one of the sweet ones. Um, but our tree makes some really nice, sweet, sweet star fruit. So we're gonna get some of those guys in there. Before we had our own, Gary Perdick would bring us yes. lots of uh, star oh, fruit. Dude Perdick had a tree and the thing was loaded like half a year. So, <laughs> um, now we have I think that's what got us into it. Yes. Yeah, I was never much of a star fruit guy. Because we never tasted the sweet one. Yeah. The only ones that I ever had taste like battery acid. <laughs> so um, I didn't realize star fruit was such a nice, sweet thing. You know, they've got a little bit of a citrus, kind of like a tin tang to them. But um, some of the, the sweet ones were really good. Our tree is really nice. So. How does it feel to go and pick, pick it off your, your tree? It feels wonderful. You know, that's the great thing about living in South Florida is we can we can grow stuff all year long. Just put stuff in your backyard. All right, the oil guys is starting to start to smell the oil. So it smells like it's ready. Guys, I'm gonna take our soy sauce and honey fillets. Careful with your fingers. Yeah, buddy. We're gonna lay them down in here. And so what we're just gonna do, we're gonna leave these in here for a couple minutes on each side and uh, flip them over and then be ready to eat them. All right guys, it's time to flip. We're getting a little bit of a browning going on there, a little bit. And uh, that's super nice, guys, I like it. Mmm, that guys, that is honey and soy. So we, uh, those guys are done. 
Now we're gonna jump to our blackened fillets, and the reason is because that one was really messy. It was throwing the oil everywhere, so uh, we're gonna save our um, teriyaki, honey teriyaki one for next, or for last, so. All right guys, let's start with the blackened. Well, that's a lot less messy. Yeah, you don't wanna. Good? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, this is the blackened one. We've got our soy sauce and honey. We've got our blackened, the, the smell that this puts out into the air is absolutely incredible. Literally, I so, smelled it from my room, but that's pretty far away. It's incredible. So, guys, our last one is our, um, which one is this, teriyaki and honey. So we are gonna start cooking these bad boys. Little teriyaki and honey action. I'm gonna go one more here. Okay, folks, so now we have our Palomet. Lorenzo's dying to get in there and bite on this fish. Okay, gather with kid. So, nah, 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 nah. All right, so what we got, we have three different styles cooked fish, three different recipes. We have our soy honey. We have our blackened paprika, onion, garlic, and all that good stuff. And then over here, we've got our teriyaki honey. So what the kids are gonna do, the kids and I are gonna do, we are each going to take one big bite of each of them with a piece of star fruit in between to cleanse our palate, and we are gonna see which one we like best. Lorenzo's up first. Lorenzo, let's try first. Our, this one is our soy sauce and honey. Take a nice big chunk. All right. Mmm, that's good. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Okay, now think about it, remember it. Okay, take a bite, take a little chunk of star fruit oh. there. Okay, cleanse your palate with the star fruit. Star fruit the mm. best fruit. So good, it's very good actually. Okay, all right, now, Taste the blackened. Just take it, there's a nice piece right there. Are you? Or, or small one. Yeah, there's a small one already. Okay. Okay. Right Everyone one you want. Yep. Oh, wow. So I already know this one's going to be my favorite. You like that one? Mmm. Right? Mm. 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 You like that, huh? Mm hmm. Hurry okay. up, her mouth is watering. Her mouth is watering. Okay. A little bit of star fruit. Mm, star fruit is really good. Star fruit is awesome. I love star fruit. Okay, now finally, this is our teriyaki and honey. So we're gonna do that one. Nice big piece there. Ready? And here it goes. Mm, okay. 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 How old is All right. Like so you're gonna rate them from top for number one fish for Lorenzo is my top. Top. Top one. Ten out of ten. Absolutely. Okay, so you like the blackened. Mm -hmm. Your next favorite one was which one? This one. That's, that's you like the. That's an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten yeah. for the. That's the teriyaki. teriyaki and honey. This one. This one was lacking a little. This is a seven. Seven. Soy sauce. Soy sauce and, and honey is a, is a is a seven. Okay, Lorenzo, okay. you can step aside mm -hmm. and let Sophia go. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sophia. You're up, girl. Okay, first, go for... Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, so if you're gonna try and eat dinner real quick. I know, right? Like, Don't contaminate them. Try not to get them like, all touching each other. Okay. Okay, ready? This is the soy honey. That one's really good. Mm -hmm. That one's really good. I really like that one. You really like that one? Okay, now it try. It reminds me of sashimi. Okay. Try that one. Mm -hmm. That one way better. Really? <laughs> so you like the black? Better? Pepper. A little bit of pepper. Okay. That's okay. Well, you're able to know that the pepper's there. That's pepper's right. in there. Yep. Yeah. All right. This one is the honey. teriyaki I mean, honey. Yeah. Teriyaki honey. Mm. 
Okay, this is one more time. I forgot. Here we go. This is this is how I got left with no with no fish the last time we did this. Okay. All right. So, how much out of ten? Nine out of ten. Okay, so you're giving the black end a nine out of ten. Yeah, and. What about this one? These two are really close for me, okay. but Lorenzo was right. It's really lacking something. So this one, the, the the soy and honey is lacking something. Yeah, that was okay. lacking something. So what would you like, give that, a seven? I would give that a seven and a half, and I would give that one an eight. Okay, They're so, really close so we've me, got seven and a half for the soy and honey. We've got an eight for the teriyaki and honey, and we've got nine. a nine. And a half. And a half. For the black. So like this, these are really close, but like Lorenzo was right, it's like really plain. Okay. And. Okay. All right, my turn. I can't wait. Okay, folks. So I've been super sweating this um, soy honey recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I'm gonna take a nice little piece right here. This is the soy honey. You call that little? Mm, just bit my cheek. Like, I think you're right. I think it is lacking something. It, it is lacking something. Yeah, for sure. Okay. This blackened. Actually, he goes for the wait, biggest hold on, piece. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, dark root. Oh, I forgot to do that. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Blackened. Here we go, guys. Oh, wow. That's good. Yeah, that is definitely better. Okay. A little bit of star fruit. Actually, star fruit. I want to take it. Toby's eating instead of filming me. Sorry, my wife. All right. Here we go. Now for the teriyaki and honey. Okay. We're not right. We're right, right? Yeah. All right. So yeah, I, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give this one a nine for the blackened. I'm gonna go with an eight for the teriyaki, and I'm gonna go with a seven for the soy. I, I don't know what this one is missing. But Maybe it is, a little it is like something. pepper. Yeah. Or something. What? What? Something why are you guys something. hating? Why are you guys hating the blackened? Dude, I, don't know. I just gave it a nine, dude. Why you, I gave it a nine and a half. Why are you giving it a nine? I gave it a all right. Well, then because a 10 is like sashimi tuna. Or I know, wow. right? Like you can never like top that. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed this episode on our Palometta feast, slay, taste test, whatever you want to call it. Guys, we are going to dig in and have dinner. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications because we have an entire playlist of catch, cook, and eat videos for all the different fish of South Florida. Yeah, so until then guys, watch, watch and live. Take care.